By 2050, the global demand for electricity is expected to increase by over 50%. Power is a major part of all of our lives. We don't often think about all the important electrical products that create the electrical infrastructures needed for all this electricity. Cantex manufactures thousands of PVC electrical products, including PVC pipe, fittings, boxes, and accessories that help make all this electricity happen. And all of our products, including our base and intermediate spacers, are backed by over 60 years of manufacturing quality American-made PVC electrical products. Cantex base and intermediate spacers help create strong, stable concrete encased banks with consistent duct separation. Cantex spacers provide a vertical and horizontal interlocking system for fast, secure field assembly of multiple vertical and horizontal rows of pipe that only Cantex spacers offer. With the trend to move so much of the electrical infrastructure underground, PVC pipe has become an essential component for containing wires and cables below ground. Its high tensile strength, non-corrosive compound, and lighter weight make it perfect for easy underground installation and maintenance. Cantex Schedule 40, Schedule 80, and encased burial conduit can all be encased in cement underground. When encasing Cantex PVC pipe and cement, Cantex base spacers must be placed in rows in the trench first. The amount of spacers used depends upon how many rows of conduit are being installed. Cantex's patented interlocking self-supporting spacer system is the only self-supporting spacer system that is designed to ensure the weight of the concrete is evenly distributed and not transferred to the bottom row of pipe during the concrete pour, protecting the pipe from getting distorted. The trade size of the spacers to be used and the required separation space for the spacers must follow the NEC 70 spacer requirements according to the size of the pipe. Always check all national and regional electrical guidelines before installing any PVC electrical products. Cantex base spacers simply slide in place and lock together. No tools are needed. Cantex base spacers also have holes on each base so rebar can be used for added stability. These holes allow the installation crew to secure the entire rack of spacers to the trench floor with rebar, ensuring that the pipe and spacers will not float or move during concrete pours. After PVC pipes are in place, the intermediate spacers will also slide and lock in place with ease. Cantex recently improved the design of our base and intermediate spacers for added strength and durability. The webbing and cross beams were strengthened on both the base and intermediate spacers, improving strength and rigidness. Cantex also added a quarter inch to each side of base spacers in every trade size for increased stability. The crust test rating was significantly improved for both types of spacers. After pipe is inserted above the spacers, the rows of intermediate spacers are connected to the base spacer for every row of pipe. This entire spacer installation process needs to be repeated at varied intervals that depend upon the size of the conduit. You can see how Cantex's patented interlocking self-supported spacer system helps ensure that all the concrete gets dispersed evenly, protecting all the rows of pipe from too much pressure that often distorts the pipe when using other types of spacers. Once all of the runs or conduit are in place and properly connected, the crews fill in the trench with cement. Base and intermediate spacers provide a 3 inch separation between the bottom row of ducts and trench floor, except for the 4x1 which provides 1 and 3 quarter inch. To determine the trade size needed for your spacers, look at the size of the pipe and the size of the separation needed. To determine the correct spacers needed, first refer to the size. The first number is the largest diameter of the pipe that will fit into the spacer, and the second number is the distance between the pipes. For example, a 4x3 will fit up to a 4 inch pipe and have a 3 inch gap between each pipe. Make sure to refer to the NE70 spacer chart to determine the maximum space between each spacer section. Each pipe size requires a different amount of space between spacer sections. For example, a 1 half to 2 inch pipe must be spaced 3 feet or less. If you are running two different sizes of PVC pipe, use the larger size spacer required for the large pipe and use cable ties to secure the smaller pipe to keep it from moving during concrete pouring. Make sure to refer to the NEC70 spacer requirement chart again and use the spacer requirement for the smaller pipe used. You can see here that the smaller 3 inch pipe has been tied down with cable ties and that the spacer between spacer sections is no more than 6 feet, even though the larger pipe allows for greater space. The NEC 70 spacer requirements can also be found in the Cantex full line product catalog and on the spacer cell sheets. Cantex base spacers and intermediate spacers are also used for Cantex encased burial conduit. While the cement encasement installation for encased burial pipe is slightly different than Schedule 40 and 80, the spacer installation is the same. If you want to learn more about Cantex base spacers or intermediate spacers or other PVC electrical fittings, pipe, or boxes, visit cantexinc.com.